So I'll give you all a, uh, give everybody kind of the rundown on this thing. Um, this is the new monitor station, studio control center. So basically, this is sort of like the center section of a console that gives you all of your main monitoring functions, like speaker switching. You can switch different inputs, so when you're mixing, you can compare your mix to like a CD or an iPod or whatever. And it also has communication with the artist. So you have talkback, where you can communicate with the artist. You have a built-in talkback mic. And in addition to that, there's an external mic on the back. So if you'd rather use that, you have external mic talkback. Um, the dim control is pretty cool because when you hit the dim, it dims down your speakers. But we have a, a, an attenuation where you can control the amount of attenuation for the dim. So it's variable from minus 6 to minus 30 dB. Um, one of the cool things that we did with this box is that we have different modes that you can um, um, you know, switch your inputs in. So for example, um, if, if you just want to switch from, let's say stereo 1 is your main mix coming from your interface, and stereo 2, let's say, is you know, um, a click track, okay? And aux is, let's say, your CD player or something like that. Well, if you only want to hear one thing at a time, then there's a mode that allows you when you when you power the unit up, you can power it up holding down the S2 button. And now all of your inputs are mutually exclusive. So I can go back and forth. But you also have another mode when you hold down ST1 that allows you to actually sum things together. So here's my main mix, here's my click track. Here's my CD player. If I want to hear the main mix and the click track together, I can have two things on at the same time. Or if I want to like, hey, let's say like, I want to plug in my, the outputs of my pod and the outputs of my drum machine and just practice, you know? You can do that with this summing mode, okay? Now the You can do that with the speaker side as well, so... Yes, absolutely. Same thing on the Q side. Same, the same, yeah, the, the input uh, controls the whole thing. Now the cool thing about that, from the Q side is this. You have two audio paths, the main source and the Q source. The main source is what's coming out of your studio monitors, and the Q source is what the artist is going to hear. So, you know, in the control room, a lot of times I don't want to hear a bunch of click track, I just want to hear the main mix. So, I would have just ST1. But the artist, let's say, hooked up to these headphone amps, I might want to hit the beat. If I'm tracking drums, I want the drummer to hear click track and the main mix. So now I can have a separate mix coming out here. But the other thing that's cool, you've got four built-in headphone amps. So you have four different musicians that can all be monitoring at the same time. And you can choose between Q and main. So you can have them listening to different things. So, you know, the drummer needs click track, but the singer doesn't. So, you know, okay, singer, I want him to hear the main. Drummer is hearing the cues. okay? Um, another really cool thing about the way the speakers work, it works in the same way. So if I power up the unit, and hold down speaker B, it works mutually exclusive. So now, let's say if I have three different sets of studio monitors that are all different. I've got Aurotones on A, I've got MS-10s on B, and I've got, you know, something big on C. And I just never want those to ever play at the same time, right? I would use that mode. The other mode that I have available is similar to the first one. It's a mixed mode. So. I could have, if I have three sets of studio monitors, I want them all on at the same time, I can do that. Well, that's the third mode. Now watch this. The third mode, if I power it up on the seat, it, it works just like a central station, which is another one of our devices, higher end device. And that is where I can do A and C, or B and C, and C is the sub. So I've got my near field on A, my mid field on B, and a sub on C. So it really gives you the, and you can turn the sub off. So you can go on and off like that. Two ninety nine back, shipping this month. Cool.